This is a video of unboxing of a package. This must be something related to astronomy. Let us open and see what is inside. Okay. Let's see what is inside here. Hmm. A phone. Two phones. I remove one phone. Another phone. Another. Oh. Let me see. Oh, 12 millimeter ED eyepiece and another 8 millimeter ED eyepiece. And there is something else. I've heard uh, and read a lot of good things about the ED ID, uh, eyepieces. This is the, and most of them were actually telling the 8mm and 12mm are the best of them. So here you are, you have them. Let's just start with the 8mm eyepiece. Oh, it's quite heavy. Uh, let me just unpack this. Okay, 8mm, nicely fits in the hand. Can see quality there is a cleaning cloth and there is some moisture absorbent gel silica gel but this talks quality to me and the eyepiece oh look at the lens this is quite chunky and heavy can see the green tinge, scent of some orange. So it's multi layered, multi coated. Star Guider ED. This is how it will look. And this is the other end of it. It's a planetary. Eyepiece. Hopefully, we'll have some good clear nights, clear sky to use this on the moon, probably. But it's quite heavy, nicely fits in the hand. Now, let's go and open the 12 millimeter eyepiece again. Oh, nicely packed. Let me turn it upside down. <coughs> oh, again, uh, cleaning tissue, cleaning fabric. They are color coded, so the orange one was 8mm and the red one is 12. I know there is a 18mm one which is blue, I think. And again, silica gel. Uh, let's avoid the moisture buildup. Looks nice. Hmm. Cut prominent uh, green uh, coating. I want to say the eyepiece looks chunky and heavy. So first test which is that it is sturdy is there let's look at it now brings with a really good eye relief I'm now around yeah two inch away and I can see the field of view if I look from this side, really nice. <clears throat> I think I've heard people, you know, really believe in this eyepiece, Star Guider ED, and they say this is the best eyepieces. So, really curious to see how they perform under different conditions on the moon. Planets actually nowadays set very. Early, but uh, hopefully the seasons change. We will see 
some of them. I also can use it on the, of course, on the Orion Nebula and Trapezium just to look at this and our double stars. Size-wise, you can see that the uh, eight millimeter one is around one centimeter short than the twelve millimeter one. And <coughs> lens-wise, yeah, this lens is bigger than this lens, slightly bigger, a few millimeters bigger. This one probably is around uh, one and a half centimeter, and this is around one point two centimeter. Beautiful lenses, all in all. Damn, they got chunky for being a you know one and a quarter inch eyepiece. They're quite heavy. Lovely. <clears throat>